May Gavon and Nibblings, let's play Lotro, episode 38. So, uh, I said that the first thing I was going to do in this video is the Bjorning class quest. So let's check out this mail that I got. Alright, so it's from Langhar. Uh, how goes your journey? You are often in my thoughts, and I hope that this letter finds you strong and hearty. Sturkist speaks of you often, jealous that you have gone to the wide lands and he has not. But every day, some of Grimbjorn's resolve that we... Uh, oh wait, I read that wrong. But every day, some of Grimbjorn's resolve that we stay at home diminishes somewhat. Alright, so basically, um, Grimbjorn is starting to think that maybe... Uh, others should leave, but he hasn't agreed to it yet. I'm writing to you to tell you that word has reached us of a mighty bear, maddened with rage, rampaging through a forest in the Bree land. It may be nothing, but I wonder if it is more than that. Could this be a creature... Could it be that this creature is one of our kind, a skin changer? If so, we owe it to the people of the Bree land to put an end to the threat of it. The traveler that brought us to this word, uh, uh, the traveler that brought us this word says that there is a camp near the old forest threatened by this creature. Find someone at this Adso's camp and do what you can. All right, so that's pretty interesting. Um, I do know where Adso's camp is, so I'll start heading that way. Uh, so uh, Langhar, I believe, is my sister uh, from the tutorial. Uh, I think I'm remembering that correctly. Alright, so I'm here outside of Bree. There's the west gate of Bree right there. I was just at the um, head watcher's little cottage. I don't know if he lives there, if that's his office or what. I don't think it's ever specified. Uh, but either way, Adso's camp is uh, just over here, I believe. Yeah, that's Adso's camp. And so is a hobbit. So, um, after I do that, if there's still time in this episode, I'll keep working on these quests that I have to um, find uh, Grimbriar's spy and uh, Kenton Thistleway agreed to um, do some work for Lofar. Right, here is Adso's camp coming into view. There's a stable master here that I haven't visited, so I'm going to visit it very quickly and unlock that stable route. Greetings! So now I can take a stable route from here to Bree or to Buckland. Here's Adso. This is his camp. Uh, there are some quests here later. Are you here to help us? This is it. All right. Um. So yeah, he's talking about. Uh, there's a bear in the forest. A huge bear. Um. Uh, he thinks it's a demon. <laughs> Alright. So... Alright, so a lot of class quests... Uh, I will show you where I saw that great beast of a bear! Are, ...are in private instances. So that's what this is. As soon as I hit travel now, it's going to take me to a private instance. Um, which I discussed in a previous episode. Oh, I do not like this creepy forest, but I will show you where I saw that great beast of a bear. So some quests like this have a little more voice acting than others. Um, it just uh, depends on, like the epic quests sometimes have more voice acting too. So this is a private instance, just to remind you, um, other players cannot access where I am right now. Um, even though it's, you know, it may be showing me a part of the main game, it it is kind of separated off for story purpose. 
so that um, only I am in it. It's like a copy of the main world, I guess. All right, so um, he's yeah, he's he's just nervous. He's very nervous. He's saying hobbits don't want to go much further than this in the forest. We're in the old forest, by the way. Um, no, he's terrified, but it's just a deer. <laughs> mm, so I can talk to this animal. Remember when I mentioned in the tutorial, I wondered if uh, knowing animal speech would come up again? Well, this is it. So the deer tells me that there is a large predator nearby. Although it doesn't really say much, say as much in words. It, uh, so Clothar is surprised that I spoke to the deer. How's it that you have come to learn the language of animals, he asks. <laughs> He's impressed. <laughs> he says, have you ever asked a, a bird uh, what it's like to fly? That's a good question. <laughs> he says, does a bird wonder what life is like as a hobbit? Now he's talking about how hobbits eat a lot. <laughs> Oh, here comes a bear. Alright, so it can't actually... I don't think it can actually attack Clothar. Um, but I did get it to come away from him either way. Alright, so... Talking to the bear... Um... Alright, so I'm talking to it, but that didn't seem to help, and it's attacking me again. It is quite a large bear, that's for sure. Alright, so I'm talking to the bear again. Uh, something has scared this bear. Um, but now it attacks me again. Uh, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, here we go. The bear's name is Bramble Snarl. Uh, it tells me that there is a wraith. Uh, and it uh, kind of drove Bramble Snarl mad, but he seems to be awake now. All right, so he wanders off. <laughs> Clothar says there's something peculiar about me. Hmm, he's, he's putting the pieces together. He's heard stories of skin changers and is figuring out that that's what Villa is. Alright, he says, um... You could have killed that bear, but chose not to. You showed restraint and mercy. This world could use more folk like you. I agree. All right. 
I have heard tales of skin changers, but I never thought I'd meet one. Alright, uh, he thought that skin changers would be scary, but he says I seem pleasant. Um, and that I showed real compassion, and that most adventurers wouldn't have. Uh, so he is very pleased. Uh, and now he's going to go have a snack. And a nap. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of that quest. That was interesting. That's the first time. Um, that's the first time I've done that quest. All right, I'm going to just ride back towards Bree and work on these other quests that I have. Uh, so, so yeah, that was the first time that I have ever done that particular quest. Um, pretty much everything else that I'm doing in these videos, I've done at least once. Although in many cases. It's been several years since I've done them, so I don't really remember them all that clearly. Um, but I've never played a Bjorning before, so that was my first time playing that quest. Uh, it was interesting. I like the direction it was going. With, um, how Bjornings may be fierce, but they can also show mercy and empathy. Alright, so it triggered a deed, completing that. Um, so this uh, is another meta deed uh, for uh, my class deeds, and basically it's saying, um, or basically the prerequisites to complete this deed are to do uh, three different class quests. Um, every class gets a unique class quest at level 15, level 30, and level 45. Um, and those quests used to unlock uh, unique skills that you had to do the quest to get that skill, but uh, these days they they just give you those skills automatically now, and by doing the quest you get a uh, trade point instead. Um, and I, I really like a lot of the class quests. I've played most classes up to around level 40-ish. Uh, and I've rather enjoyed them. They're interesting and different. How can I be of service? All right, so I'm talking to uh, Kenton Thistleway here, asking him about um, doing the favors for uh, Lofar. So um, he agrees, but he's going to need materials. All right, so I've got to get materials. Um, and let's see, uh, iron straps. Uh, I think I have to talk to the foreman here. This is intolerable. Uh, take this old iron pot. He can make straps out of that. All right. So Kenton's gonna have to melt down that pot, but that's good enough. All right. So now I need uh, boar hides and trinkets. And I believe the trinkets are kind of down in this valley here. There's this little wooded... I guess it's not really a valley. What would you call this? Oh, and these boars are going to attack me, but I have to kill the boars for boar hides anyway. So that's fine. Alright, got one boar hide. You know what my grandmother would call this little dip in the ground here? She'd call it a holler. Alright, that's two trinkets. Let's see if I can find one more. Oh. Uh, find where I can get one before I kill that boar. Here we go, I can get right there. Yeah, alright, I gotta kill all these boars. Which is not really a problem. Yeah. And they're the same level as me, but I keep missing it. What's going on? There we go. Alright, got him. 
All right, and I have to get back into human form to get this. All right, so that does it. That's all of the items I need for Kenton Thistleway. Um, now let me go meet uh, Grimbri Grimbriar's spy. Um, who should be up here. All right, one of those boars diseased me, so I do less damage for as long as this disease lasts. Uh, and it'll last for another minute. So, that's actually a pretty big penalty, though it's not going to stop me. It'll just make me do damage a little slower. Alright, so here's Grimbriar's spy, who's he's an informant within the uh, Southerners. Oh dear. Alright, so he's been discovered, and they're coming to get him. So this is kind of an escort quest, except uh, I don't have to go anywhere. Alright, that did it. So he says, thanks, uh, he hands me some notes, and he says he better get out of here. But he says, tell Grimbriar I'm done with this business for good. So he's, now that he's been discovered uh, by the Southerners, um, he's, he's giving up, he's escaping. So he's not going to be a member of the Brigands anymore, and he's also uh, not going to be an informant for Grimbriar anymore. What can I do for you? All right. Uh, do I have the notes? I do. Oh, I do have the notes. No, that's the auction house. Here we go. All right. Informer's notes. This is important because uh, it's not mentioned in the quest description. Um, so, men have come up from the south, um, and they're kind of turning into a small army. Um, they're much more organized than brigands in this area were before. They're still mostly men of Bree with relatives in the area. Um, oh no, the, the previous brigands were mostly locals, so they weren't really all that violent. But these people are Southerners who aren't from around here. They're called Sharky's men. They're much more violent. Um, they mean to take over all of Breland. Um, they're also well-armed and skilled, so they're very dangerous. Um, they revere a leader called Sharky. Um, Sharky isn't in this area, but he'll probably come soon, but it's still a mystery about who Sharky is. Uh, they come from beyond Andrath, maybe as far as Dunland. Um, they're rivals with a similar band called the Iron Crown. Alright. So that's all important information. Um, alright, I am gonna take, uh... Saradan's bow, which is uh, better than Callum's bow. So sorry, Callum. Can I speak with you a moment? All right. So I will equip it. Replace Callum's bow. All right. Uh, I'm not going to invite those angel, those rangers to help. Uh, he still says the men of Bree uh, are capable of doing this by themselves. Um, information speaks to the captain who led the raid on Dogwood's farm. Uh, there's a leader in a camp nearby. Um, let's, uh, annul. Uh, let's, uh, uh, so yeah, take him out and uh, get his notes. So someone high, he wants notes from someone higher ranking than his informant was, basically. But it's someone who isn't going to cooperate. So we can see on the map, there's a little spot here, and I know the knoll that he's talking about. Alright, I also need to take these things back to Kenton Thistleway. 
So I'll do that. What do you need? Something else has happened, and he's giving me um some armor, which is a good bit better than what I had. Stay a moment. So I'll equip that. Let me see how it looks. Oh, it doesn't really look all that good, but that's why I have that cosmetic outfit. All right. The brigand captain who wanted the sword came back and told me he knew Nate was dead and that I had something to do with it. Um, I told him I didn't. This is all what Kenton is saying. Uh, but I'll have another soon. Um, he's taken his daughter. And if I don't give him another sword soon, he'll kill her. All right, so I need to get the sword and then go to Blake's camp and release his daughter. All right, uh, so I need to go back to Lofar and get the sword. So this is all getting a little out of hand for Kenton Thistleway, it sounds like. Uh, and I'm not going to have time to do that in this episode, but in the next one, um, I will... I'm pretty sure I will have time to go rescue his daughter. My Durin's beard! Alright. Those brigands took Thistleway's daughter. This is bad. Sword isn't ready yet. Um, those brigands won't take no for an answer, they'll kill the girl. Uh, we have to mount a rescue. Alright, so, we've got to rescue her. Um, uh, Lofar basically says he's familiar with these brigands, and even if we give them what they want, they're still not going to keep their word, probably. So, alright, well that's it for this episode. Um, I'll see you next time, nibblings.